Mike, come to ya. A young South State University nurse practitioner student. How are you today? Good. Good. So today we are going to be doing an assessment of the chest, lungs, and heart. Everything we're going to go over today is going to be 100% confidential. Do you have any questions? No. Okay. And just um, for clarification, when we get started, uh, Mike does have a herniated disc, so we are going to modify the assessment. When he is standing, he would normally be sitting. It's just that position does aggravate his back, so we're going to modify. Okay, and if you could just state your first and last name for me, Mike. Mike Moore. Good, and can you tell me your date of birth? 4683. Okay, great. So um, just to get started, what I'm gonna be doing is just doing an inspection of your chest. So basically, I'm just looking at your breathing right now. Um, it doesn't appear that you're in any distress, no dyspnea, um, there is no tripoding noted, there is also no evidence of any cyanosis on your lips. Is it okay if I just see your fingertips here? Yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna press down on your nail bed. Capillary refill is good, less than three seconds. Um, next, I'm just looking at your chest wall. It is rising and falling symmetrically. Um, no use of any accessory muscles. Um, I'm also visualizing the anterior, posterior diameter. So the sides here are smaller than the lateral, posterior. Um, so the AP to lateral is one to two, which is a normal finding. Okay, and then for your rib provenance, I just am going to take a peek here and see if I see any ribs and feel and no protrusion of any of the ribs. Okay, so next what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna check for something called clubbing. So I need to, you to put your fingers like that. And then if you don't mind just moving your thumbs. Okay, and there is a window pull up present, so no evidence of any clubbing. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is just palpate your pulse here. So just go ahead and breathe normal while I check your pulse. Good. Your pulse is normal, regular rhythm, 80, and your respiratory rate is 20. Okay, and as I'm standing here, I don't hear any advocacious breath sounds, no wheezing, no bronchi, no crackles, um, no strider or friction rub. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead here and look at some of your anatomical uh, landmarks. So your trachea is nice and midline. Any tenderness is on palpating. No. Okay, and I don't see any evidence of any tugging, and his suprasternal notch is right here. So, um, any tenderness here? No. Okay, and the angle of Louis, any tenderness here? No. Okay, great. All right. So now I'm just going to have you turn this way here while I just check for thoracic expansion. So what I want you to do is just take a nice deep breath in for me and let it out. Good, and there is a magical rise whenever you take those breaths. The next thing we're gonna do is I'm just gonna palpate for something called crepitus. So just kind of stand still, breathe normal. Okay, can you lift up your arms for me? Good, and then just gonna come around to the front here. You can bring your arms back down. And no evidence of any crepitus. The next thing I'm gonna do is um, checking for tactile crematus. So what I'm gonna have you do, Mike, is I'm just gonna have you say the word 99. 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. Okay, and lift up your arms for me. 99, 99. Good, and then I'm gonna go to the front here. 99, 99, 99. Okay, and no evidence of any tactile um, crematus. Okay, next I'm just gonna go ahead and percuss. So just breathe normal here. Go ahead and lift up under your arms here. Okay, and I'm gonna come to the front. Okay, and resonance is filled, um, is sounded um, all through the lung uh, fields. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is just check for the diaphragmatic um, measurements here. 
So I'm gonna have you take a nice deep breath in for me. And I just need you to hold that breath. And go ahead and breathe. All right, and I need you to take another deep breath in and hold it. All right, so go ahead and take a nice breath in and then I'm gonna have you let it out and hold that. Okay, and take a nice breath in and out and let it out and hold that. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and measure this. three centimeters on both lungs. So that is a normal finding for the measurement of the um, diaphragmatic excursion. Okay, so next I'm just gonna take a quick listen to your lungs, Mike. As I put my stethoscope down, I'm gonna just have you um, take a nice deep breath in for me and let it out. And then go ahead and lift this arm up for me. Nice deep breath in and out, in and out. And lift up your other arm, deep breath in. Okay, and I'm gonna come up to the front here. Deep breath in and out. Lung sounds are cleared bilaterally equally. Then um, next test we're going to do is a vocal, vocal uh, resonance uh, test. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put my stethoscope down. Every time I put my stethoscope down, I'm going to have you say the word 99, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. Okay, lift up your arm here. 99, 99. Okay, and again. 99, 99. Okay, and then the front. 99, 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. Good. And so as I'm listening to you, all the heart, um, the lung sounds do sound muffled, which is a normal finding. That means there's no consolidation present. Um, another test we could do is called um, the whisper test, where I actually have you whisper. If um, there is consolidation present, then I would hear the sound be a lot louder than normal. And then the other one is called the, um, um, e, the, if you say the letter E and it sounds more like an A, that means there could be some consolidation present as well. Um, so what I'm going to have you do next is we're going to go ahead and move on to the chest portion and listen to the heart. So I'm going to have you go ahead and just lay down in the bed here. Okay. And the first thing I'm doing is just like the last time, I'm just ins inspecting your chest here to make sure um, I don't see anything abnormal. Um, so I am basically going to use some tangible lighting with my pen light. And I'm just going to visualize um, the different areas here. So I'm just going to look at the apex. And basically what I'm looking for is I'm looking to see if there is any visible impulse as I'm inspecting with the light. And I do not see one. Okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead and I am going to put my hand here on the apex. 
and I do feel a very gentle um, apical impulse at the fifth intercostal space midclavicular line and I'm going to go ahead now and just feel the sternum borders and the sternum which is flat um, no displacement it looks like your symmetrical wall is um, equal okay and then I'm going to go ahead and just kind of have you check for what's called jugular vein distension. So I just need you to turn your head to the side there. And I'm just looking to see if I can actually visualize the jugular vein. And I cannot. It's absent in this assessment, which is normal. Um, the next thing is I'm going to actually just inspect the different lung areas to see if there's any presence of any heaves, lifts, or thrills. So I'm going to look here in the um, pulmonic area, the, I'm sorry, the aortic area, the pulmonic area, the herbs area, herbs point, the tricuspid area, and the mitral valve area. Okay, and I don't see any heaves, thrills, or lifts. Next, I'm going to go ahead and palpate. So I'm just palpating the aortic area pulmonic, herbs point, tricuspid, and mitral valve. Okay. And as I am palpating, I don't feel any heat thrills um, present either, or lift. So I'm going to just listen to your heart sounds while you're in this position now. I'm going to first listen with the diaphragm. Just breathe normal. So I'm just looking, listening to the aortic. Pulmonic. Herbs point. Tricuspid, and mitral. Okay, and as I was listening, I did not hear any murmurs. I didn't hear any um, irregular heart sounds, any extra sounds, any splitting. So now I'm going to go ahead and just listen while you're in this position at, um, with the bell of my stethoscope. So just breathe normal as I listen to the aortic area. Pulmonic, herbs point, tricuspid, and mitral. Okay. And as I was listening, I did not hear any irregular heart sounds, any murmurs, um, any splitting with those. And as I was listening, I could hear prominently S1, S2. It sounded as if it was in regular rhythm. Um, so now what I'm going to have you do, Mike, is um, typically we'd be in a sitting position, but I'm gonna have you go ahead and just stand up just to help out with your back. Just take your time. And I'm gonna listen to those heart sounds again if you just wanna stand back just a little bit like that, perfect. So I'm just going to go ahead and listen again, and I'm just listening to the aortic, pulmonic, herbs point, tricuspid, and mitral. Good. And no irregular heart sounds. Now I'll listen with the diaphragm or the bell, aortic, pulmonic, herbs point, tricuspid, and mitral. Okay, good. No irregular sounds heard. Um, 
This time what I will do is I will have you go ahead and just take a, um, I'm going to have you hold your breath while I listen and I'm going to listen with the um, bell of my stethoscope. Sometimes we can hear certain murmurs when you're holding your breath. So just go ahead when I tell you to hold your breath, hold your breath. Go ahead and breathe. And I'm going to go ahead and listen to the pulmonic. Hold your breath. And breathe. Go ahead and hold your breath again while I listen to the herbs point. And breathe. And I'm going to go ahead and listen to the tricuspid. Take hold your breath. Good. And breathe. And the mitral. Hold your breath. Good. All right. This time I'm just going to have you lean forward a little bit. Try it out. Because sometimes you can hear different yeah, right. breath sounds whenever you oh, okay. can do that. You can hear different sounds. I'm sorry. So go ahead and lean forward a little bit for me. Aortic. Pulmonic. Herbs point. Tricuspid and mitral. Okay, and there was no no evidence of any murmurs um, or extra heart sounds. Now, if we did hear a murmur, there are some different things that I would want to document and take note of, and that would be the site of the murmur, the characteristics of the murmur, um, if it radiates anywhere, the intensity of the murmur, the pitch and um, the timing, the grading of the murmur. Um, but everything checked out great for your assessment today. No abnormalities on the chest, the lung, or the heart. Uh, do you have any questions at all today, Mike? No. Okay. Well, I appreciate your time for doing this assessment, and please contact the office if you have any further concerns. Thanks.